Hello everyone, I am Fixer and welcome to Test Driver. We take a game out for a spin to get a first impression and you'll let me know if you would like to see more. And today we're going to kick the tires on Pathway, which was developed by Robotality, published by Chucklefish. It is a turn-based adventure RPG with pixel graphics, of course. It takes place in the 1930s. And we do some tomb raidings and there's some occult stuff and whatnot. It gave me some strong Indiana Jones vibes, right? And I'm a child of the 80s. I like my fair share of Indiana Jones. And that and the pixel art is what got me interested in this game. Now, I am not a turn-based type of guy. It's it's just not my kind of gameplay, my combat. I like live-action combat. So I don't play any turn-based games at all. But every now and again, you see a game and then... Maybe a little bit outside your comfort zone, but you like the, you like the setting, you like the art and whatnot, and you just give it a try. And that's where I am. I'm like, you know what? I'll try the turn-based stuff because I like the setting. I love the graphics. This pixel art is gorgeous. It looks fun to me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for a new adventure. Whenever you see this notification blinking, you can click on this button to see more information. Okay. Pathway consists of a series of individual adventures that gradually increase in difficulty. At the start of an adventure, you need to assemble a team from the total available, unlocked, and uninjured characters. Fancy. Oh, uh, the number of characters on your team depends on the adventure. All right. Start a game, all adventures are uh, locked apart from starting adventure. Okay. Jeep storage characters. I don't think I need to go into all of this stuff. Here we go, background. The year is 1936 and Nazi activity is increasing intensity by the day. Tirelessly, they send their expeditions into the vastness of the deserts and the inhospitable mountains of the Middle East. North Africa, Arabia, what could the armies of the evil be looking for? Every expedition is different. Persistent gameplay, every decision counts. Okay, I'll let you guys discover that on your own if you want to play the game. Turn-based combat, enemies. All right, here we go. Select an adventure. Casablanca, Morocco. You receive a desperate plea for help. Your old friend Morton has been abducted by the Nazis and taken to the Moroccan desert. You decide to travel to North Africa immediately to find Morton before the Germans execute him. Okay, let's just do it. Who do I have here? Jackson Sheffield, American Globetrotter. Natalia Shashkova, Russian scientist. Holy cow. So, what is, um... Well, we're not going to know what, what kind of combo is good or not. His nickname is Piranha. Oh my god. How many of these do I get? Two? Okay. Spanish Civil War poet. Prince Omar Abu Al-Jarabi, art collector. I like this dude. Brazilian steamboat smuggler. His name is Piranha. I like this guy. Do I just... Oh my goodness. Big game hunter, survivalist. He's got a skill tree. Holy cow. So many things to do. Okay. Got a knife. And I got a shotgun. He's got armor. Recruit. You can always rely on old Piranha. And a Russian scientist. She's got a pistol, she's got painkillers, and a worn coat. This is our first run. I'm not entirely concerned about things. Uh, recruit. Let's do this. I'm ready. Uh, once you assemble your team, you can equip your characters with new items provided there is loot from previous adventures. It's not needed by your team. Uh, by your team can be moved to the... Items not needed by your team can be moved, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to know that, I don't think. At least not right now. And since I don't I don't have anything in storage, I don't think there's anything I can really do here. So I'm going to play maybe a half hour of this. We'll see how it goes. You guys let me know if you want to see more. Knives have the highest damage potential in the game. You must, however, expose yourself by moving in close. You take a break in a provincial backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Morton is out there, 
somewhere. Man, that sounds like Bruce Campbell, doesn't it? Okay. You check your gear one last time and start the engine. Your journey begins. This is your current location. And I can visit here. If you have not visited this location, there appears to be something interesting. Uh, it can be revisited multiple times. All right, well, I got one option here. And that took up a fuel. Okay. You're racing along the gravel track at full speed and enjoying the cool wind on your face when a loud bang breaks the monotonous sound of the engine. At first, you think it's a gunshot, but as your Jeep starts to skid, you realize you got a flat tire. With some difficulty, you bring the car to a halt so you can take a closer look at the damage. You're going to have to change the wheel. You take the opportunity to re-tighten all the screws on your wheels before restarting your journey. All right, so each one of these nodes, something interesting happens. And my guess is it could be good or it could be bad. Can I move this around? No. Can I scan? Ah, there we go. And that is the ultimate goal, I assume. And I can take whatever way I want. You are probably the first people in many years to set foot in this deserted place. The desert sand has left little more than a few crumbling walls. Okay. Can I do anything in there? No. Well, we're closest to this location, so I would say maybe go something like this. We'll do that. As you come around the corner, you see a couple of rusty fuel canisters in the ground. They turn out to be completely empty. Can I take them? No. Not far away, you see vultures circling in the sky. In the desert, that could mean all kinds of things, so you decide to investigate. You climb to the top of a dune to get a good view. You see the remains of a German soldier. You search through what little the vultures have left behind. The man has been dead for some time. He probably died of thirst. You find a courier bag in his belt. When you open it, a folded map falls out onto the hot desert sand. You examine the map. Somebody has marked a cross not far from your position. You bury the man's remains to protect them from the vultures and move on. Drive to the spot? Absolutely, it's a gamble. Okay. May yield a positive or negative outcome. We're doing it. Hidden between some palms, you find a German army crate. When you break it open, you're not sure what to make of the contents. Hundreds of small white pills, neatly packaged in convenient, unlabeled cardboard boxes. Apparently you've come across some uh, Wormacht's pharmaceutical supplies. But there's no sign of an instruction manual or anything that might give you a clue. It's strange contents. Try the pills? I mean, why not? Who will try? Um, well, if she's a scientist, well, uh, and she's got painkillers, I'll take the cho the chance on um, Mr. Piranha here. It doesn't take long for the effects to kick in. Pereira uh, seems restless. His mov movements are jerky. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on, we have things to do. He is strangely exhilarated. All right, I see what this game is throwing at me. I can dig it. Spot a small troop of German soldiers who have set up camp here. They do not seem to have noticed you yet. Search enemy supplies. This option uses a character perk your team does not possess. Aha! So there could be different solutions to these random encounters and these nodes that certain characters can take advantage of. I do not have anyone on my team that can do that. I can just straight up shoot them or withdraw. I mean, there's two of us and there's four of them. That doesn't sound like... Ooh, withdrawing has a gamble. I don't know. Is the element of surprise a, an important thing in this game? See, this doesn't have li listed a, a gamble here. All right, screw it, we're doing it. Do I get an element of supplies? Surprise? What? Planning phase. Okay. Okay. Position Pereira inside the green area. Where, where's, where's the bad guys?
Okay, so I, I'm going to assume they're in here somewhere. Oh no, they're right there. There's two red ones right there. Where are the others? Weren't there four? Um, alright, I'm going to start him behind cover. Moving to here seems like a good idea, so I'm going to start him, I think, right here. And Natalia, I wonder if I can shoot above these barrels. Let's move her here. All right, let's see what I can do. I can move him there. I don't want to do... I want to do a shotgun blast. A range attack. Oh, neither one of these are good. Uh-oh. When in low profile, this character receives an evade bonus of 40% in the current turn and during the next enemy turn. Okay. Requires one bravery. Is that bravery right here? It looks like it might be. It's the same icon. So I get to use two bravery points then. Causes melee damage and additional. All right. Well, I can't do anything from where I am. Can I? Can I take back my movement and move them elsewhere? Oh, I can blow up these barrels. I don't want to do that. I don't want. To, I don't think I can do anything with this guy. So I'm going to move him there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to move... Oh, boy. I've made errors. Oh, there's line of sight. Did you see that? There's line of sight. I did not know that. Oh, I'm in tr trouble. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> okay. Um... My, my girl over there is in trouble, isn't she? See, now I don't know how this will work. If I want to shoot this guy, but have cover, do I move here or move there? There's only one way really to find out, and this looks like this guy's got crazy range. I'm gonna go here. And... Oh, of course. You can't do anything from here. Look at he's just out of range. She can hit him. Can I hit and then move? Oh, she, look at her. She's got crazy range, eh? Um, I'm a little worried how much in the open she is. Because that other guy is, is right here, right? Or no? Um. Will this provide any kind of cover? I have no idea. She, I mean, one more shot and she looks like she's dead, right? They took 17 hit points from her? Use med kit. How about I move her here? And medkit. And him. You know what I should have done with him? No, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Never mind. Alright, well this is all I can do. He can hit me from there and I can't hit him? Oh, this guy's right here. Why did I think he was up there? Oh boy. What is this guy doing? Can I knife him then? Alright, how about... Wait. How about we move him here? Did I just kill him? I may have just killed him. Um, alright. This is a little concerning. Um.
Will this provide cover? I feel like she's probably dead, right? If it's not going to be him, it's going to be him. Probably both. So I think, like, she's probably dead. There's nowhere I can take cover. I think they both can get to me. So maybe the best I can do is get back to the other guy. If I can. Let's go up here. And we'll heal. She's going to take two shots, though. We'll see how this goes. She's down. All right. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh. All right. Well. Um. Show enemy info. Yeah, I don't need to do that. I wish I could see my my range of firing during the move. See this this doesn't go very far. One, two, three. I don't even think I can hit him if I go here. I, I guess that's that's the case with a shotgun, right? I shouldn't have picked him if I wanted to do ranged stuff. So this go right here and we'll shoot him from here <gasps> you gotta be kidding me can I take it back I want to take it back um oh my god should have moved right there it's one out of range damn it I can't do anything. Low profile. Hopefully they miss me. Okay. So that helped me out. Low profile was the right choice there, apparently. And so he missed as well. Okay. Um... I move here. And we'll get rid of this guy. First blood. And that's all I can do? Can I do anything on her? No. I wonder if I can bring her up. That hurt? He's gonna get a shot too. I survived! You may revive them by using a med kit, which I'm guessing I don't have. I think we're going to lose this first fight. Okay. Bleed causes melee damage, and look it, I still have that bravery point. I thought I spent it. I think I need to do a bleed. I don't know. Like, how do you how do you survive something like this, right? Even if I get within range and shoot them, they could just kill me because I'm already within range. This is why I don't like turn turn based games. Because I feel like it's already over. How do you survive something like this? Um I guess let's just go here. Oh shit! That killed him outright! I did not expect it to do that much damage. If this guy misses me, I should be okay. <gasps> Am I gonna get lucky? Oh. <laughs> Sucks to be her. Alright, let's get close. And let's blow him away. Oh. Well, I thought I was going to win. Now I gotta count on him missing me. What is he doing? Oh, you gotta reload! I see. One out of three shots. Okay. Um. Let's end this. Let's end this! There we go. Of course, I, I, I've, I've, I've lost my friend. 
reload all weapons. Shot accuracy, 67%. Two evades. Took eight turns. Basically, the game's telling me I suck. I know game. So, what do I do about my, my, my scientist friend? Is she gone, like, permanently? Oh my god. Medium ammo box. Officer's leather... Take all items. Done. Head bowed, you stare silently ahead of you. When you finally sit down exhausted, you feel totally drained. So tired. Doesn't he look like Bill from Left 4 Dead? You look up at the sound of soft paws in the desert sands. Emerging from between the rocks, you spot a German shepherd dog. Instinct- a German shepherd dog or a German shepherd dog? <laughs> Uh, instinctively, you reach for your weapon, but the animal appears to be alone, just like you. Hesitantly, the black dog trots towards you and sniffs at you suspiciously. A friend and a helper! <gasps> just when you think it's all over! Hell yeah! Oh, oh. As you scratch at its neck, you find a German dog tag. Fenris, huh? Did they treat you badly, you little deserter? The dog yaps eagerly, as if in agreement. He then pants excitedly and wags his tail. A wave of confidence flows through you. You get in your car and pat encouragingly at the passenger seat. Come on, boy, we've got work to do. Hell yeah. I wonder if I would have gotten the dog had my partner not died. Also, is there no... There is no dots connected between here? Temple entrance. See, I love this art. The temple entrance in front of you is framed by two pitch black obelisks that appear to be uh, honed from the solid obsidian. Okay. As you approach the entrance, you hear a deep humming sound. A ghostly go emanates from the obelisks. You examine the mysterious objects, but you don't find anything that indicates how they work. You enter the building carefully. An almost endless flight of stairs leads deep into the earth. Your exploration ends in a dilapidated passage that looks like it might collapse at any moment. Beyond the passageway, the rock walls open into a spacious vault. An eerie glow emanates from within. You keep a wary eye on the creaking ceiling of the passageway between you and the mysterious vault. Hell yeah, we're proceeding. With small, careful steps, you work your way forward. At first, only dust and sand trickle down, but suddenly the entire ceiling gives way. The breeze and soil flood into the narrow space around you. As the dust settles, you see that Fenris is buried up to his hips in the rubble. It takes some time to free him. It looks like Fenris has injured his right leg. Unfortunately, you can no longer get to the vault, so you are forced to turn back. Fenris loses health and he's got a bruised leg. God damn it. I'm stupid. Yeah, I gotta go back. Um, I'm running out of fuel. What do I do about that? Yeah, I know I'm running dry on fuel. Hopefully this place has fuel. You reach the outer buildings of a small settlement. A surprise awaits you at the center of the village. It's a brand new jeep. An ill-tempered looking man stands beside the vehicle. I gave a dozen good camels for this worthless heap of junk. Shame be on my head. Something is wrong with the jeep. Perhaps it's an opportunity for you. Buying gasoline. You soon reach an agreement. The man sells you all his gas at a reasonable price. Um, I have 500. Let's see how much it costs me. Um. Compression bandage. Alright, so that only gets me one fuel. Are you serious? That's not a whole lot. Just spent all my cash. A strange temple. All right, no, we're not going there. Um. I, I wonder if that means a fight. Did this one show a fight? Whatever one we were at. Right here. Oh, wait, did I not go? Oh, my God. I went that way to go down there, and I didn't even go there. I went across. I thought I went down there. Whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna go here. You peer carefully over the ridge of the dune. A large unit of German troops are camped just beneath you. They have secured their camp with sandbags and are patrolling the grounds. 
Further back, you could see the military jeeps and stockpiles. You look at each other. This won't be easy. Um, it won't be easy. Search. That's the second one we have with Shadow. All right, we're going to continue on our journey. I want to see what this is. You stop at the site of a worm jeep parked on the ridge of a dune. Where will you sneak closer? You peer over the ridge. Okay, this is the same thing. The, the soldiers have not noticed me, though. Wait and watch. After some time, you hear loud shouts. The officer pushes his soldiers excitedly aside and makes strange gestures in the air. Moments later, a passage opens in the side of the Black Pyramid. The soldiers proceed into the structure in single file. Sneak after them. You trail the soldiers at a careful distance until they get to a small chamber that looks like an ancient place of worship. At the behest of, your of, of their officer, the soldiers gather around a mighty sarcophagus in the middle of the room. Working together, they pry off the slab what seals it. Well, gee, this looks awfully familiar. Their faces are going to melt. I don't know if I want to spy on this. <laughs> yeah. Gee, I wonder if I've seen that before. A ghostly light shines from the sarcophagus. The German shoulders stagger back in pain and attempt to cover their faces, screaming in agony. Moments later, there is silence. The corpses of the Germans are scattered around the open sarcophagus. Examine. Yes. You carefully approach a sinister... Uh, I hate that they keep calling it sinister. It's like it's going to come at me now. Before you can do anything, uh, Pereira is already peering greedily over the edge of the sarcophagus. He whistles in appreciation before pointing proudly to his loot. Um, a natron soaked linen shreds? Damaged cedar casket? What is that even used for? Tarnished bronze sacrificial bowl? I think that that looked like it was generic loot, so it gave me like money instead of like actual items. That's what it seemed like to me. The camp in the ruins ahead of you seems deserted until you realize the truth. You've fallen into an ambush. Oh, shit. I kind of saw it coming, didn't I? <sighs> Is that my dog? I don't think that's my dog, because there's a red one here as well. I think there's two dogs. There's a guy right... No, that's my guy. Where are their guys? I don't know. Um, oh my god. Let's start here. Um. Wait, is that all there is? Are two attack dogs? Oh, I can actually place my dog? Are you serious? Well, he's already hurt. I don't want him to get hurt more. Alright, let's shoot this dog. I feel awful. Let's walk closer to it then. Oh god, I hope this I hope this is enough. To kill it. Oh I feel so bad. Um Alright, let's go here. Oh shit, he could run a long way. Oh he's dead. Oh there's a guy up there! I did not notice that! Oh, I'm in trouble. Um. Um, hold on. Let's do this guy first. Let's get rid of him. And you... Did he die? Oh, he died! Okay, good. We're done. Oh, this guy didn't... Die. I'm knocked out. Oh my god. Um, what do I do? Bleed. Alright, so does that mean I'm okay? Reload all weapons. 
Do I do am I okay? I hope I'm okay. Tarnished Venner Automatic Rifle <gasps> and gas. Like that. Now, is there a way for me to heal up while I'm here? I would like to uh, I would like to know that. Strangely exhilarated. It's funny. I don't I don't know if I can heal myself. It says down here that I'm knocked out, so I don't know how we're going to drive the vehicle unless I found a super dog. Like how do I get better from here? Because I can't heal myself, I don't think. Um Well, I guess the dog is driving. In the desert village, you meet a merchant who beckons you uh, to you politely. Um, yeah, what's up? Bulletproof vest, a battle dress, sheepskin vest. None of these things will heal me, though. Can I sell this? Um. Accuracy 50, range 3 tiles. This range is 8 tiles. I kind of prefer that, actually. Can I do this? Can I do this? Is he not proficient in that weapon? Is that why? I think that's why. Okay, well, that's not a solution. So I can't heal here. What do I do at this point? I feel like my, my run is dead already. Is this, is this where you would quit the game and restart? Like, I'm going to move forward and we're going to start a fight with my guy laying on the ground and the dog running around. Fine, we'll move forward. You come across a large detachment of German soldiers resting at a temple. They have seen you. Um, I'm running. We'll get at least to here and we'll see what happens. Let's see how bad I get my ass kicked. Even from a distance, you can see that something is wrong in the village ahead of you, so you approach cautiously, using the low walls for cover. There's a lot of people there. Your instincts did not deceive you. A couple of German soldiers have occupied the village and are rounding up its inhabitants. Um, we'll leave them go. Oh, am I out of fuel? Oh my god. The old caravan... Caravan, sorry? What? It's surrounded by a grove of overgrown palm trees. At first glance, you can tell that no one has lived here for decades. The place looks abandoned. The only sound is the rustling of parched palm leaves. Um, search. Please have fuel. Uh, your first impressions are confirmed. The place is deserted. You find nothing. When you've used up the last drop of gas, your jeep finally gives up the ghost and sputters to a halt. You exchange looks of uh, consternation. Will you continue your journey on foot or give up? We have one node to go, right? You did your best, but in the end, the enemy won. Somebody else will have to save Morton from this fate. I'm dead. 44 minutes? I don't think that was right. My timer on my phone says 34. Unless it's like an in-game time marker. I don't know. One item, no money collected. I don't think that's right. Or is it because I died? I don't know. Experience game. So this is very roguelite. See, oh, so money must not be items I could flip for cash, but actual literal, like, cash. Well, there you go. That's an interesting game. I can see myself playing more of it. Um, I like the setting. Um, I'm not big on the turn-based comment, but that's just me, you know? I, I'm not into that kind of thing. But it, it seems like it, it fits this game, so, you know, whatever. All right, so that's it. That's Pathway. You can get it on Steam right now. $16. Links will be in the description below so you can get it yourself. Um, if you want to see more, there should be a, a little white icon in the top right of the screen. Click on that. Let me know if you want to see more. Or if you just want to put it in the comments, put it there too. Let me see. Let me know if you want to see more and I'll do more. 
Until then, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.